Hi there, and welcome to the first step in your learning journey for using Hyperskill provided by Sim Insights. So, before we begin, let's discuss how you can get access to the Sim Insights solution of Hyperskill. The first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to our website at siminsights.com. From here, you'll have access to all the resources that you'll need for your purposes and creation and using the Hyperskill platform. If you have not already purchased a solution, the free trial will be available to you so that you can want to do, you can go to our website and either go through the pricing option and sign up here or immediately go to the login. If you would like to purchase, you can go through either monthly or annual subscription for the purposes of getting access to the software. All right, so moving forward, you're going to want to either click sign up or log in, which should bring you to a page over here. If you are already signed in, it will move you forward into the home page but let's log out for now. After logging out, you'll see this screen here. This is where you can sign up or sign in. If you have created an account with us through the sign up process, all you need to do is make sure that you log in with the same method you used before. Meaning if you're logging in by putting an email and password combination, you would do so here. Or if you logged in with Google, Apple, or Clever, but you can do so there. Just make sure that whatever method use is the same, otherwise it might not find your account. So, after signing in, you will be brought to our home page. On our home page here, you will have access to all of the community features that are present here, whether that is viewing the analytics, documentation, forums, and reaching out to support, seeing other tutorials and guides that we have here, joining our community through our forums, Slack, YouTube channel, and LinkedIn page, as well as signing up or contacting us for anything else. Here's also where you can view the skillful library as well as any of the simulations that you've created and downloaded and being able to share them here and manage your organizations and other functions here. Moving forward, in order to get access to the Hyperskill application, you're going to want to go to Downloads here. Here you can see the latest version of the desktop application, access it online, as well as the Unity Packager and download the Quest and HoloLens versions if those are your platforms of choice. So from here you would click this Windows desktop icon to download this for Windows. Doing so will start a download process which upon being extracted you can get into this file here and you would then double click here to launch the application. Upon launching the application you will be on this screen here. To log in, simply hit the Login and Sign Up button. You'll see some kind of device confirmation. Click Confirm. And then just sign in the same way you did before. OK. After you are logged in, you'll be on the Hyperskill homepage. So, from this homepage, let's just quickly walk through what's here. If you want to sign out, you can do so with the three dots in the upper right-hand corner, as well as report, request feedback, and other things of that nature. You are also able to gain access to the Skillful platform. Skillful is a pre-built content collection of over 300 sims and constantly growing within our application that is specifically made and tailored for career exploration. You can experience this on desktop, web, or on your own VR and AR devices. Some of these will be locked behind your licensing tier, so do make sure that if you see anything that you want to have access to that you do not, please reach out to us or purchase a license that would give you access. Next, we'll move on to the Virtual Objects tab. This is where your collection of objects that you yourself have created and uploaded to our system are available for you. You're able to organize, search through them, upload, and update them, whether it's objects, people, or spaces. Next is the Analytics page. By clicking on this, it will open up a web portal for you to view, showing you what simulations that you have or those that are shared with you if you prefer. 
you are able to select or search simulations by name, going through them, and see what users have done uh, in any simulation. So here you can see what simulations have started, those who have completed, and what users have done so. If you want, you can dive in deeper into the details of what was going on. You can see what users did in your simulation. as well as the response of your system. Sometimes simulations may share with you with a six-digit code. These Sometimes simulations may be shared with you with a six-digit code. This is where you would input that code for inputting a PIN code. Naturally, by codes generated by our system, you would use the playlist option. Whatever the code is, you would input it here, and whatever simulations have been added to that PIN code would be accessible to you here. The Media Library page is where you can upload your own PNGs, PDFs, and other documentation to be utilized within the simulation. And you can view them and add them here. And now, let's go to the Simulations page. This is where you are able to edit, create, and design your own simulations and go through the creation process with them. So, when you are first brought in here, your page will likely be empty if it's your first time. Otherwise, you can see here simulations that are privately owned by you, those that are shared, as well as any other organizations you may be a part of. By selecting it, you can see that the simulations available here do change based off of what group or section I am in. You're able to leverage the search function in order to change what of your available simulations are shown within your given category. You're also able to navigate via the pagination or jump to a page by putting a number and pressing enter. You can view tutorial tutor You can view tutorial videos here by clicking on this, which should bring you to our latest in the creation process guiding you through these. If you would like to create a playlist, as I mentioned before, you can do so here. This is how it will create and generate PIN codes that you can share with others. As an example, I can create a new playlist here, go to Edit My Playlist, find a simulation that I want to add to it, and I can add multiple. Click Save. And now, this code here, if I input, would let anyone gain access to these two simulations. Let's quickly demonstrate that now, of what that would look like. So, taking that code, going to input pin code, selecting playlist, and pasting in this pin code here, gives me access to only these two sims, which I could then click and experience. If you are done with a playlist or no longer have need of it, you can delete it here. All right, so with that, let's move forward into the creation process of your own simulations. In order to create a simulation, you would do so by hitting this new button here in the upper right hand corner. We will go through the creation process of your simulation in the next video. Thank you so much.